guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am back with a faith video faith video. It's been a minute um, and I filmed a video last week and it was going to be titled Sometimes It's You. Sometimes It's You. And it's so funny because I was like, I don't know, I didn't want to post the video. And then I read my devotional today and I was like, yo, this is like a really relevant topic, I think, for a lot of people. Especially my generation, like with social media and a lot of things that you constantly see. And just knowing what's right from wrong. So I'm going to share my devotional. Um, if you guys don't know, this is my devotional. Um, it's by Paul David Tripp. And it's called New Morning Mercies. It's so hard to find a devotional that is uh, gospel driven these days. A lot of devotional have to talk about like a lot of personal experiences. They lack a lot of like conviction. And granted, like conviction is given to you by the Holy Spirit. But at the end of the day, if there's nothing in here that has the word, then what are you being like, how are you being convicted? Like, I feel like when you open the Bible, it's kind of like you're looking at it through a lens of like, this is the truth and I am wherever I stand right now and dad, I need to get my life. Like Holy Spirit is just like, yo, get your life in this area. I'm working on you, all of that stuff. But make sure you, long story short, just make sure everyone gets a really, really good devotional I'm telling you it makes a huge difference so I'm gonna share the Devo uh, from today and we'll just talk about it down below but uh, and I definitely want to hear you guys feedback you guys haven't been commenting maybe because it's the faith videos is what you guys really resonate with but definitely comment because I want to hear your voices um, but it says it's the heart that's the problem people locations and situations don't cause me to sin they're where the sin of my heart gets revealed they're where the sin of my heart gets revealed. And it says, if you ask the little boy why he hit his sister, he won't tell you it was because of the sin that's in his heart. No, he'll say, she was bothering me. If you ask a teenager why he came in so late, he won't willingly take responsibility. He'll tell you a long story of how there was an accident on the freeway, then a long train he had to wait for, and then a water main break that flooded the street he normally drives on. If you ask the fa father why is he so angry all the time, he won't tell you because of the selfishness and impatience in his heart. No, he'll say it's because of his kids. They just drive him crazy. You get my drift here. Like, it's so easy to point out outside sources as the problem of what's going on inside of our own heart. And it's so funny because I was like looking at Instagram posts and you have to be so careful of what you feel is right. Um, it's a lot of people posting a meme on Instagram and it says like I prayed to God to remove my enemies and I started losing friends. And I'm just like, what if it's something inside of you? Like at the end of the day, like my friend said, um, and I will never forget what he said, like you're the common denominator in every single relationship. If it constantly doesn't work, you have to start asking yourself, why? What is inside of me that needs to change? And it's so funny because I've been doing this a lot recently, like as far as like relationships goes. Um, and this is not all about relationships. It's a broad topic. But in my life right now, I need to be more intentional with my relationships. I see that sometimes I can get caught up in my own cycle, like work. And like I have a blog that I need to keep up and I have a relationship that I need to maintain. But at the end of the day, like am I really being intentional with like my friends? The people who are like my sisters? Am I really being a true sister? And like that's something that the Holy Spirit convicted me about. So this video is just to have you look inside your own heart because a lot of the times we love to look at outside uh, you know factors and not look inwards and say like maybe like this is an issue and like I said it's the Holy Spirit that brings conviction but you have to make yourself receptive to that you have to make yourself available like read your word that's why it's so important to read your word that's why it's so important to be in line with the spirit constantly like holy spirit work walk with me every single day because trust me granted i am being convicted every single day whether i'm at work whether i'm on the train like and i get upset about something like i and, and it may be like selfishness inside of me like i'm convicted um so it's just like this i hope this video really encourages you today but I'm just going to read um, a little bit more of this. It feels good to think that your biggest problems in your life exist outside of you and not inside of you. But the problem is that it simply is not true. 
Jesus devastated the self-atoning perspective on human behavior in the Sermon on the Mount. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with a lustful intent has already committed adultery with her, with her in his heart. This means that your and my biggest problem in life exists inside of us and not outside. It is the evil inside of me that connects me to the evil outside me. So I must confess that I am my greatest problem. And if I confess this, I am saying that I don't so much need to be rescued from people, locations, and situations. I am, des I am in desperate need of the grace that is alone able to rescue me from me. Like, I can drop this book right now. Like, yo, that is so good. It's so good. And I say this because it's a lot of people running from situations, running from people, running from locations. Like, oh, this is wrong. I feel like I got to change my outside circumstance without dealing with me. You have to deal with your stuff. Call yourself out on that stuff. And, like, certain times... Like I said, we're receptive and we hear it and we know it and we're just like in denial. It's like it has to be everybody else. But no, maybe it's you. Like we're sinful. We have a lot of evil inside of us since the fall. Um, and it's so, and when I tell you, when you look inside of yourself or when the Holy Spirit starts to convict you, it hurts. Like it's not an easy thing like of when you're called out on your stuff. Like that you're selfish or you may be wrapped up like me into my own life like do you really care about the people that surround you and that was like a big eye opener to me like get your life get your life so yeah I wanted to really read this and share this I feel like it resonates with a lot of people um, and I hope it encourages you to like pray and ask God to reveal certain things to me Help me not to be selfish and think that it's all these outside factors instead of dealing with me first. Um, and that's something that I've been really praying. Um, don't help me see everybody else's sin. Don't help me see what everybody else has a problem from. Help me not to run from certain situations, but help me to reveal like certain things in me so I know what I need what I need to change. Because then you can use that as focus prayer for yourself. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you guys saw the event that I'm having in Brooklyn on the 31st of March. So it's called God's Girls Brunch. And what it is, is basically a monthly brunch for women to get together and cultivate relationships and start to build. Um, and just really be intentional about setting time once a month. I know that commitments are hard to make when you have a lot of responsibilities. Trust me, I know. <laughs> me in a grad school and full-time like worker I work full-time so it's hard so I just really want to and I pray that it's so God-led that it's not a me that it will be women really really wanting to be <clears throat> intentional about this because it's not about me but how can we like build a true community because it's funny, I was talking to another friend and I was like, it's so funny how we have like these conferences and we can get together and read the word, but at the end of the day, we don't bond, we don't connect, like, and we don't need to read another verse if we cannot, like, edify, if we cannot build one each other up, if we cannot call each other when something's going on, and granted, it takes time to build, so that's all I'm trying to do with this brunch, is like, I pray that the presence of God is in there. Because that will make the changes. Bond, uh, chains will be broken if his presence is there. And that's what I want. And if, lastly, I want us to keep key. I want us to bond. So if you're interested, I'll put the link down below. But I hope that this video blesses you. I hope that you are encouraged. And I will see you in my next video later.